Hello lovelies and welcome back to Mama G Gear. It's Mama G here and Rusty's at work because somebody has to. Anyway, I have a couple unbox well, an unboxing and an unbagging and then something that I have had but correlates with what I'm doing and I'll show you that as well. Uh, first, the um, welcome any newbies and all you OGs, you yarny peeps and non-yarny peepers, you're all welcome and thank you so much. Please don't forget to give us a thumb and uh, if you're not subscribed and you like it by the time you're done watching this, hey, consider that. We're working towards our next milestone. whoop de doo Okay, yeah, I'm, I just got up. It's really early. I didn't bother doing anything. Just deal with it. And the box that I have is from Joann's. Little story. It came yesterday. They dropped it off. And I, I'll show you. I did open it already because uh, I want to make sure everything was in it. But if you look at the condition of the box and then the top of the box without showing you the addresses, this whole piece was bent and not, not there. And they had taken tape and retaped it. So... In this Joanne order, this is part, the first shipment, you know, Joanne sends stuff separately. I was really concerned because I purchased something that's a lot of small little things and I saw that box being open and I was like, nah, you know, please, please no. But everything that was supposed to be in here was in here. It's, tip, it's yarn um, and they had a paper on top. So I did open it. It's okay, Joanne. And the post office, well, it wouldn't be Joanne's fault, but yeah, look at it clearly, you know, this is what happens. It gets tossed around. People don't love our stuff as much as we love our stuff. All right, so we're going to look into that. Also, I uh, ordered from Universal Yarns, whoop, Universal Yarns, and uh, oftentimes I get uh, bear yarn from them, but they haven't really had a sale, and I'm really low on my bear yarns. So I do have some that after this I'm going to do some uh, dyeing of yarn, because I haven't done that in a while. But I'm going to try to dye cotton, and you'll see what I've ordered to try that. So anyway, so let's do the Joann's, I mean, yeah, Joann's first. Because I could just throw that in a tote and then we can use the box for the other stuff. Right? Does that sound good? These were all on sale. I don't, I don't really need, besides bear yarn, I really don't need any yarn. There's no projects that I need yarn for at this point. So I'll only buy if it's on a good sale. And I did have a, a good sale. This was, um, it was on sale. Sorry, it was on sale and I had like a $20 off your whole order afterwards or something like that. 20%, I'm sorry. 20% off, so that's the reason I bought this. And what I've been making, or if you've seen my uh, rainbow pants and rainbow vest, still working on it because I have other things I have to do. So I, I, I work on it and I'm like, ah, I really got to get to this and then I'll work on it again and whatnot. But I really enjoyed that yarn. It's, and this is, I bought a different color. It's the Big Twist Living. I think I said loving in one channel, which is all the same. But Big Twist Living. At the time of this recording, I believe it's still on sale. This is Fun Bright. It's a four weight, 100% anti-pilling, and it's 199 yards. It's really super pretty. I know it looks a little more pastel than I am. I don't mind pastel. I just prefer Brilliant. So, yeah, so I did buy four of those. That's two, four, six, eight. That's about 800 yards, a little under 800 yards. And I also purchased two bright yellows, which I'm hoping will go with that. So if I needed extra yarn, I have two bright yellow ones. If I don't need it, I'll make some daisy hats. Okay. And then another colorway that I really liked, I did buy extras, so I've got three. I bought five of these because this I really feel is going to be a cool sweater. I love my sweaters. I really do. I, 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 I'm going to say out of all the things I crochet, I think crocheting sweaters is my favorite thing, to be honest with you. So I've got this. This colorway is Community. Yeah. 
called community. I don't know why, but uh, it's telling you don't be upset with the purple paper. The purple ladies. I don't know if you have you ever been in a small town where the purple ladies. I'm actually one of those purple ladies now, where they all wear purple and they all go like out to lunch and all this kind of stuff. When I lived down North Carolina, I was like, what's up with all these? I loved it. Elderly ladies with their uh, purple clothes, but they're, they're I think they're the purple ladies. All right, so I have five of these, and just in case, I bought four more of the purple. And I didn't tell you the color of the yellow. This is maybe new lavender as opposed to old lavender. It's new lavender. It's like new Amsterdam. All right, so that's the yarn that's in this shipment. There is more yarn coming. Same. It's all the big twist anti-pilling. Um, but what I did buy an abundance of and did not come yet. It'll be here soon and I will share that with you on a quick video is I bought a bunch of tie-dye kits. I also bought dye to dye silk, um, dye, dye for hopefully acrylic and I'm going to try to dye some acrylics as well as cottons and silks and other other fibers. But these are pretty colors. These were just really bright. This is the powder that's in the bottle, you fill it with water, you know, it's less sloppy, I guess. But you get your elastics and your plastic gloves and whatever else you need. But I did buy this kit. Again, it was on sale. All their tie-dye stuff was on sale. Um, and then I had an extra, I think it was 20%, thereabouts. I'm going to say 20%. That makes me feel like I saved a lot of money. So I did buy that as well. So that's what I got in this shipment of um, Joann's. But I wanted to show you this because I never did before. In the past, I have purchased, this is by Jacquard, and these are, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. there's 10 colors. As you can see, it's really, it really is the rainbow here. Okay, so that's perfect. They are liquid. I do the Jacquard, um, I mean, now I, now I use the other one too. What's the other one that uh, Thrist turned me on to? Um, it escapes me. It'll come to me. But Jacquard was always the acid dye I used back in the day when I was dyeing, you know, fibers and whatnot. So I do like the Jacquard brand. And this says you can, uh, it says natural and synthetic fibers. So I want to try this with some acrylics as well. Acrylics are really a pitta to, um, to dye. So I figure I have other, the other dyes that are coming are like different types of dyes. So I, oh, I didn't bring them over here, but I've got like six bottles of the Rit dye that I purchased specifically for something that I'm doing for, there's two people um, that I want to do something for. They're different, but um, I'm doing it today. So I'm going to be dyeing some hanks of cotton yarn and I'm going to be dyeing tie-dyeing for the first time since I was a kid, tie-dyeing a t-shirt. And that's for two different people. And I'm going to give it a shot. But this is something else that I purchased a while back. And it's just been sitting. That's the box is open. But you've got your soda ash. You've got the bags of soda ash, which is what I guess you'd use for, instead of citric acid, it's soda ash for tie-dye. And of course, can't have enough elastic bands in plastic bags. But it's literally just every one of those bottles in there is a different color of powder. So this is this is like, you know, like a one-time shot deal. And then I guess you go, oh, that was soda ash. They give you, feels like paper, but I think it's plastic. And I, I think those are plastic bags. This must be plastic coverings. And I think this is plastic bags to put, because oftentimes with, with dyeing cotton, you, you, it needs heat, um, but you don't want to put it in a, like you do a dye, uh, acid dye, you would you submerge it in the water and you can do that, but I think that dilutes it a little bit more. So with cotton, from what I understand, allegedly with cotton, and I've done it before where I've done just poured on dry and then wrapped it in cellophane. And the last time I did it, 
uh, for um, Sam and Mike uh, Mampa's mates. I dyed them their own colorway a couple summers ago. And it came out very pastel, but what I did was I wrapped them and then I left them out in the beat sun on my back deck for like three days. It, it was quite the ordeal. And then it did still wash out and, and make very pastel. So I'm going to try something different with the heat process on these. I have a crock pot and I also have this big steamer uh, bowl that I bought with all the utensils to can my own goods. And I'm never gonna get around to that, plus Craig does that, so I don't need to. So I'm gonna use that canner, which has been sitting for years with for no purpose. Um, I'm gonna use that and steam the, the yarns. So I'm gonna do that with the cut and yarn. And with the crock pot, again, I don't really cook um, it's been sitting in my cabinet for 10 years, not been used over 10 years. And if after I use it, then it's going to be like, oh gosh, I shouldn't have used it because now I can use it. I could always borrow Craig's. So it's all there. Because once you use um, a, an item for a dye, especially an acid dye, please never use it for food, okay? Or, or anything edible or whatever. It's it's not a, not a good thing to do. But anyway, I don't think it, it doesn't really tell us all the colors. I'm not going to take them all out of here. But yeah, really have a lot of colors. So when I'm ready to use these, I'll just pile up everything on a counter and then browse through and see what colors I want to use. All right, so that's Joanne and also um, what I do already have. And there'll be more, I bought more kits. So the next, the next couple, I'll wait till you see all the, I bought so much dye products so much so I, I enjoy doing it so you know and um I have been looking through my stash of already you know just regular you know skeins of yarn and cakes of yarn and um ones I'm looking to see to over dye you know like instead of having the vibes I don't have I, I, well you know, I say to myself, I don't really have much bare yarn left, but I do have a lot, but I don't have like what I want or what I need right now. I did find what I do need. I'll talk about that in another video, but I'm, I'm doing a custom order for somebody. This is the universal yarn. I'm doing a custom order for someone, so um, I do have what I need. I was worried because I didn't have much left, and I didn't think I had any left, and I found it. So I found it this morning. So that's what we'll be doing later on today. All right. speaking of cotton yarns, and I don't have a lot of cotton yarns at my house. If I can get the bag off. It's a bag within a bag, so it's got that suction thing going. All right, and it's attached. Hold on, rip. There we go. All right, so speaking of cotton yarns, and here are the colors that I picked. These, like I said, these are on sale. I, I hope that on here, I think it does tell me the prices. Little script, noise, noise, noise. It's a great noise. Find stuff inside of there when you hear that noise. Though I get it, like if I hear a drill, I think of the dentist and immediately start feeling anxiety. I know that was loud, I apologize. All right, I just wanna show you the prices. Okay, so it looks like it looks like each of these were five dollars and fifty cents. Each of these skeins, and I, I'll show you in a second. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so four of them I wasn't charged. So we have uh, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I bought thirteen, and I. I had four, I'm sorry, did I say four? Four of them were zero cost, and the other amount, whatever the math works out to be, it's a math thing, um, whatever the amount of that turns out to be, I paid 550 for the other skeins, and it came to 4950 for all of this, so, but, yeah, it's soft. It's soft cotton. Okay, I'm happy. These are DK weight, and I bought three of the peach. It's a it's cotton supreme 
DK. This is the colorway apricot. Um, it is, gosh, the writing. There's 230 yards or 210 meters in each. It's 100% cut in. And I'm going to say that's a three weight. Oh, it's D DK. Hello. Yeah. Do you hear yourself? I said I don't even listen to myself. I cut myself off in mid-sentence and I don't even listen to myself. So I got three of these and some of these I only had the amount because it's all they had left and I could put those in that box. And then the purple, I was able to score four of the purple, of course, and same specs. This colorway is orchid, makes sense, right? So four orchids. Then there was only three left of this, which is the pretty same, all same spec, same stuff. This is lime. That makes sense. And then the last color that they had available, which is interesting because it's got different tags. So I'm, maybe I did order something different. I don't know. Let's see. No, Cotton Supreme DK Universal Yarns. This is the colorway celery. 230 yards or 210 meters. So it's the same thing, just different tags. So one one is older, one is newer maybe, or they're switching. I I don't care, to be honest. So what I plan on doing with these is because they're cotton, and I hope the way I say cotton doesn't bother you guys. It just, I was brought up where you didn't say yeah, you said yes. Uh, my father was a stickler on pronunciations and uh, anyway so these are the four colors that I have and I'm thinking kind of what I'm planning on doing what I'm planning on doing is over speckling these like finding a universal like finding one color that will go with all of these or colors and speckle each of them with those colors and that would pull them together, right? I hope. But anyway, that's my plan. Will it come to fruition? Who the heck knows? Want a photo bomb? Hold on. If I can. Oh, who's my buddy? Yeah. Oh, photo bomb. All right, this guy here, he's not going to look at you, but this little Lipithecus. Lipithecus. No, he did. He loves his, see hugs, hugs and kisses I get from this guy all the time. Yes. He does that. He'll hug me and then put on either side and kiss me. And then it's like a sandpaper. So I usually break out in a little rash, but yeah, he's my boy, but he loves being outside. So he's in and out like his brother, his big brother does that too. Oscar, he's, Oscar would rather be outside all the time if I'd let him, but um, we bring them in, of course, at night and throughout the day. And if it's raining, I try not to let them out. Though there is a video I will post with him being outside, all of a sudden torrential pouring. The other cats came flying in. He's sitting in the garden straight ahead of me. I have the door wide open. I'm hollering to him, and he's just looking at me, getting pummeled with the, with the rain. And he wouldn't come in. Then he ended up staying out through the whole storm. So he came in soaking wet. But anyway, he is, he's a little love bug. So, yeah, we're glad. We're so glad he came into our lives. Yes, you were just strutting down the street as a little tiny kitten with no family. And now he's one of ours. He's one of our favorite little boys in the house. He's my handsomest boy. All right. Anyway, enough of that. I'm just going to enjoy the loving I'm getting from him. And uh, love you guys. Be well. Be happy. Uh, be kind to one another. Happy Pride Month because it is Pride Month at the time of filming. My shirt says I may be straight, but I don't hate. I have... Uh, a lot of family and friends that uh, um, celebrate pride for personal reasons and um, love you all. I love all of you. No matter what, I don't really care. Don't judge. Don't judge. Ah, enough of that. Bye.